All right, in this video, we are going to be using the pounds formula uh, to do some dosing, some chemical dosing. So here's the scenario we've got. We are looking at our reservoir, right? Same big tank sitting on top of a hill, 2 million gallon capacity. We're going to assume that it's full, 2 million gallons. We measure a chlorine residual of 0 0.1 milligrams per liter. And we know that that's not quite high enough. We need to be at a minimum of 0 0.2 milligrams per liter, but this particular reservoir, we like to keep things closer to 0 0.5 milligrams per liter. So what do we need to do? We need to figure out how much disinfectant do I need to add to bring the residual, the chlorine concentration in this tank from 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 milligrams per liter. We're going to be doing that with sodium hypochlorite. And the concentration of that sodium hypochlorite is 12.5%. Remember, sodium hypochlorite uh, is the active ingredient in, say, household bleach. The bleach you have at your house is going to be a little bit weaker, not quite 12.5%, but this is what we're using in this case to dose this reservoir. So we want to figure out how much do I need to add. So what do we need? We're going to need the pounds formula. So in this case here, we remember that pounds formula is going to be our concentration times, in this case, it'll be my volume, sometimes it's flow, times the weight of water, 8.34 pounds per gallon. Now, this is sort of the classic pounds formula. This works great if what you are using to dose your water with is 100%, say, chlorine. In this case, we're only 12.5% chlorine. So what do we have to add? We have to add the denominator here, another component. We need to factor in my percent strength of whatever it is I'm using. And remember that this percent strength is going to be some number over 100 Right here, it's 12.5% over 100. That's what we're looking at. So remember that the number that we plug in to our calculator is going to be 0 0.125. We need to plug it in as a decimal and not as a percent. All right, so think about this logically. If we know that our disinfectant is only 12.5% chlorine, we're going to have to add a lot more of that than we would, say, chlorine gas, which is 100%. So by taking our pounds formula and dividing by this little number, we're going to grow that number, which is what we want. Right. So let's fill in the rest of this. The volume I'm directly given, 2 million gallons. Again, that's the capacity. We're going to assume that it's full. We know the weight of water. We've got our percent strength. So the only thing we need now is the concentration. Now the concentration here, you got to think about it logically. If I read... I take a reading and I've got 0.1 milligram per liter in my tank. If I want to bring it up to 5 milligrams per liter, then what is my additional concentration I'm adding to this reservoir? Well, that's going to be this 0 0.5 milligrams per liter minus this 0 0.1 milligrams per liter. Think of this as this is what we have. This is what we want to get to. So what do I need to add? I need to add... 0 0.4 milligrams per liter. That's the goal here. So this is the concentration we're going to plug in here. All right, so one more little step to kind of think about before we can just go adding chlorine. So now we've got our 0 0.4 milligrams per liter. We've got our volume, weight of water. we got our percent strength. Now all we're going to do is plug and chug. The way I like to think about doing this problem is running all the numbers across the top and then dividing it by the bottom here. So pull out my calculator. If I do 0 0.4 times 2, something like that, 0.4 times 2 times 8.34, then I'm going to divide that out by 0.125. Make sure you're dividing it out by the decimal form. I get 53.38 pounds. Now this is the amount of sodium hypochlorite needed to add to this reservoir to bring the concentration up from 0.1 to 0.5 milligrams per liter in theory. Now sometimes dosing in pounds is not you know, super helpful. So there are going to be times where we want to dose in gallons. So in order to convert pounds of sodium hypochlorite to gallons, I need to know the weight of my sodium hypochlorite. Let's just say in this case, we're looking at a weight of 9.1 pounds per gallon. So in order to figure out, okay, this is how many pounds of sodium hypochlorite, 
What I need to do now is I need to divide by this weight here, the 9.1. So now I'm going to divide out by 9.1 pounds per gallon. This is going to cancel out my pounds. So now I type into my handy dandy calculator the 53.38 divided by the 9.1, and I am left with 5.8. Seven, we'll round it there, gallons of sodium hypochlorite. So we're, let's refresh. What do we do? We started off with a reservoir, a 2 million gallon reservoir. We measured a chlorine residual at 0.1. We know we need to be at least at 0.2. In this particular reservoir, we like to be more at close to 0.5. That way there's still residual by the time it leaves this tank and gets to our customers. So given our, our concentration that we needed, the 0.4 increase, given the volume and the weight of water, we knew the percent strength of our solution. We we're able to run the math to figure out the amount of pounds of sodium hypochlorite. In some cases, that's where we leave it. In this particular case, we wanted to know the volume in gallons. So we needed to take the weight of our solution. We took the pounds divided by that to get to 5.87 gallons of sodium hypochlorite. Now a question for you to think about just logically, what if I was dosing with a disinfectant that was say 50% chlorine? Would I need to add more or would I need to add less if my concentration was greater? Hopefully you're saying less, right? We would need to add less because our concentration of chlorine is higher. If this was chlorine gas, right? 100% chlorine, we wouldn't even need the denominator here because it's 100 over 100, right? You know, you add one pound of chlorine gas, you're adding one pound of chlorine. So then our pounds formula calculation would be even simpler. But in most cases, we're not dealing with a concentration of 100%, and these are the steps we need to take.